सो क्लासि लोड बसर नैक्स्ट वो अल्लीकेशन लोड बसर नैक्स्टर्क लोड बसर सो बेसिकल एंटे ई थिंक फ्रम नैक्स्ट टाइम इफ ई आस्क यू एनी क्वेश्चन और समथिंग यू कैन जस्ट ट्रई टू बिल वन एग्जापल अं ट्रई टू एक्सप्लेन ओके सो सिमर इकडे फर् एग्जापल फर्गेट अबउट दिश क्लास लोड बसर अंड अकेशन लोड बसर ओके सो नैटर्क अंटे ईडिया जनरल इन इन वेरी वेरी काम टर्म्स यू नो वाट इज इंटरने नैटवर्क वी आर् आल यूजिंग इंटरनेट नैटवर्क ओनली वी आर् यूजिंग थ्री जी वी आर् यूजिंग फोर जी फाइव जी टू जी ओके सो दीस आर् आल डिफरेंट नैटवर्क अवेलबल फर् अस् ईवन इफ यू आर् पुटिंग सम इंटरने कनेक्शन सो यू विल बी बइंग हंड्रेड एम बी पी एस टू हंड्रेड एम बी पी एस फिफ्टी एम बी पी एस ट्वेंटी फाइव एम बी पी एस रईट सो I I just want to ask you one simple uh, question. For example, if you are uh, using this, uh, uh, what we say, YouTube, for example. So YouTube choose na run kundi. For example, if you are uh, putting uh, one, uh, what we say, uh, we are opening YouTube and uh, we are playing one uh, 4K video. 4K video idea idea onta dhandar ki. So I am playing one 4K video. Okay. So. If four K video, for example, uh, if I am using some two uh, G network, can I able to uh, play this? Uh, uh, what we say, four uh, K video lo four K video play out on the two two uh, G connection lo. No sir. Three G lo out on the. Three G lo na in four K video play out cheche. Yes. फोर जी लाइट इप्ड फर् एग्जापल नैन टू जी फर् एग्जापल टू जी उ सो टू जी फर् एग्जापल ई वाट फर् ई थिंक एव्रीबडी विल बी यूजिंग ए ब्रउजर ओके टू जी ब्रउजर अट्लीस्ट न फर् एग्जापल ईआरसीटी अप्लीकेशन उ सो ईआरसीटी अप्लीकेशन ई वाट बुक् टिक सो टू जी मन ईआरसीटी बुकिंग से टिकेट बुकिंग फेसबुक 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 यूज चेयचा टू जी लो इफरे दिंग वाट वी हाड इकड़े बट सर्वर तो मन कम्यूनिकेट रईट सो सर्वर कम्यूनिकेषन उसे बेसिकली वी कॉल इट ऐसा इंक ट्रई टू अंडरस्टा वेरी वेरी सिंपल लो लैवल टर्म्स इन यूट्यूब फर् एग्जापल यूट्यूब प्ले चेसा सो क्लइंट सर्वर तीस सो वाट वि फोर के वीडियो प्ले चेसा सो वाट वि मिनीम कम्यूनिकेसन इन कंटिवस उ कम्यूनिकेसन फर् एग्जापल अट्लीस्ट यू नीड टू हाव वन टू एम बीपीएस वन टू मे बी फाइव एम बीपीएस पर् सैकंड आल द टाइम कंटिवस् कने कदा वीडियो स्ट्रीम अवाले रईट करेक्ट स्ट्रीमिंग अवाली अंत दे कंटिवस् मूवेंट आफ डेटा बिटी दीज टू अट्लीस्ट वन एम बीबीएस पर् सैकंड टू एम बीबीएस पर् सैकंड कंटिवस विच नीड हई अमौंट आफ नैटर्क अंत हई अमौंट आफ नैटर्क इतने डेटा ट्रांसफर उ फास्ट डेटा ट्रांसफर अंड आलो द डेटा विल बी इन हई अमौंट ओके सो सिंपल एग्जापल नैटर्क लोड बसर गेपाली अंत ऐ थिंक सम वन इन द क्लास आफ टू सर वील बी यूजिंग दिस टीसीपी अंड यूडीप कने ओके सो बेसिकली नैटर्क कम्यूनिकेस मन यूज टीसीपी अंड यूडीपी प्रोटोका ओके सो इकेंट सिंपल एग्जापल एंटे यू कैन टेक् द एग्जापल आफ् ईपीएल रईट सो ईपीएल रीसेंटली ई थिंक एव्रीबडी फाइंग 
సో ఇప్పుడు ఏదైనా ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సిఎస్కే మ్యాచ్ ఇస్ దే ఓకే ఎయిటీన్ ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఓవర్స్ హార్డ్లీ మేబీ ఇన్ ద స్ట్రీమింగ్ యాప్స్ యూ కెన్ సీ హార్డ్లీ అట్లీస్ట్ ఒక ఫిఫ్టీ ల్యాక్స్ ఎయిటీ ల్యాక్స్ పీపుల్ విల్ బీ వాచింగ్ రైట్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ వే లాస్ట్ ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ ట్వంటీ ఓవర్స్ అనుకోండి ఇట్ విల్ బీ పాసింగ్ మోర్ దెన్ వన్ క్రోర్ పీపుల్ సో వన్ క్రోర్ పీపుల్ ఏంటి అంటే వాట్ దే రీడింగ్ ద ద పీపుల్ వాంట్ టు స్ట్రీమ్ ద డేటా కంటిన్యూస్లీ ఇప్పుడు ఏంటి అంటే ఒక ఒక కనెక్షన్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ అయినప్పుడు దెర్ విల్ బీ కంటిన్యూస్ ఫ్లో ఆఫ్ డేటా బిట్వీన్ సర్వర్స్ అండ్ క్లయింట్స్ సో ఇన్ దాట్ కేసెస్ స్ట్రీమింగ్ అంటారు కదా నార్మల్గా సో స్ట్రీమింగ్ నీడ్స్ హ్యూజ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ డేటా ట్రాన్స్ఫర్స్ డేటా ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ రేట్ షుడ్ బి వెరీ 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 హై అనమాట so best example is streaming so streaming purposes we can use network load balancer okay so similar ga ipudu manam application load balancer teeskunnam ankonde so application load balancer enti ante it mainly uh, deals with the number of uh, transactions ankochu manam so number of transactions are more ante more number of uh, users are uh, trying to uh, do some transaction at the same time సింపుల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ కెన్ కన్సిడర్ ఐఆర్సిటిసి యాప్ ఇప్పుడు ఐఆర్సిటిసి యాప్లో వీఆర్ ట్రయింగ్ టు బుక్ సమ్ టికెట్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ కెన్ టేక్ దిస్ వాట్ వీ సే దిస్ తత్కాల్ టికెట్ బుకింగ్ ఐ థింక్ ఐ కిన్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఈజ్ అవేర్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ తత్కాల్ టికెట్ బుకింగ్ ఐడియా ఉంది కదా తత్కాల్ టికెట్ బుకింగ్ సో ఇప్పుడు ఏమవుతుందంటే చెప్పమ్మా ఓకే సో తత్కాల్ టికెట్ బుకింగ్లో ఏంటి అంటే ఇక్కడ ఇట్స్ నాట్ అబౌట్ స్పీడ్ 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 అవసరం లేదు మనకి మనకు ఆ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ అనేది మ్యాక్సిమం నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ హ్యాండిల్ చేయాలి అండ్ ఆల్సో వితౌట్ ఎనీ ఎర్రర్ రేట్ ఇప్పుడు నెట్వర్క్ ఉందనుకోండి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ స్ట్రీమింగ్ వన్ ఐపీఎల్ మ్యాచ్ మనకు ఒక టూ సెకండ్స్ త్రీ సెకండ్స్ మనకి నెట్ ఆగిపోయినా కూడా పర్వాలేదు that means even there is some uh, the match uh, at, at least okay, five seconds stop ip now got a problem like malli again we can resume there will be no loss for us right whereas this uh, where we are working on this irctc transaction for example okay very minute transaction is very very important and a very very light a tiny amount of uh, data is also very very important and this need to be handled in a very very cautious manner ఇప్పుడు మనీ ట్రాన్ పేమెంట్ ఇష్యూస్ చేస్తున్నారు పేమెంట్ ఇష్యూస్లో నథింగ్ విల్ బి దేర్ జస్ట్ సమ్ లిటిల్ బైట్స్ ఆఫ్ డేటా టెక్స్ట్ డేటా జస్ట్ యువర్ యూపీఐ ఐడి సమ్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ నెంబర్ యువర్ అమౌంట్ అంతే బట్ ఏంటి అంటే ఇట్ షుడ్ ఇప్పుడు ఏంటి అంటే దిస్ దిస్ సింగిల్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఈజ్ కంపీటింగ్ విత్ ల్యాక్స్ ఆఫ్ యూజర్స్ ఒకటేసారి ల్యాక్స్ ఆఫ్ యూజర్స్ విల్ కమ్ అండ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు డూ దిస్ కమ్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ the thing is it should not get failure or edo light amount of uh, data kada and ignore cheyakunda that sh- that will be handled in a very very cautious manner and uh, it may but endi ante failure rate should be very very less anamata very very minimal ga undali so for that purpose may, mainly inga simple ga cheppali ante uh, for application load balancer you can take examples of all bank transactions all the banks what they are doing and the best example is you can uh, take this irctc tatkal ticket system booking so these are all good examples which will able to make you understand the concept more clear okay so idu gurtu pettukondi malli ipudu sir you uh, we have discussed about uh, application and uh, network sir what about this classic so classic end and it is combination of both so combination of both ante malli idem sa different ga undi ante you can say simply take example of uh, what we say our all uh, we say this thing what we say social media websites unnai kada so for example you can take uh, this uh, uh, what we say facebook.com so facebook uh, facebook has the combination of all types of data right so facebook lo ఇప్పుడు ఏంటి జస్ట్ పోస్ట్స్ కానీ యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ సర్కిల్ కానీ గ్రూప్స్ కానీ పేజెస్ కానీ లిస్ట్స్ కానీ సో అక్కడ ఏంటి అంటే దేర్ యూ నీడ్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ హ్యూజ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ నెట్వర్క్ టీసీపీ ఆర్ యూటీపీ ట్రాన్ కనెక్షన్స్ సో అప్పుడు ఏంటంటే ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ విల్ బీ వర్కింగ్ ఆన్ అప్లికేషన్ దట్ మీన్స్ యూ నీడ్ టు ఫెచ్ మోర్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ అప్లికేషన్స్ ఆర్ లైట్ డేటా అండ్ యూ నీడ్ టు సర్వ్ మోర్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ 
సో వేరాజ్ మళ్ళీ సడన్ గా ఇందులోనే కూడా సమ్ టైమ్స్ ఇన్ సోషల్ సోషల్ మీడియా యుల్ బి హ్యావింగ్ లైక్ లైవ్ ఫేస్బుక్ లైవ్ కానీ ఫేస్బుక్ వీడియోస్ కానీ సో దాట్ టైమ్ విల్ బి యూజింగ్ నెట్వర్క్ సో అప్పుడు ఏంటి అంటే మన కంప్యూటర్ని విల్ బి కాన్ఫిగరింగ్ ఇన్ ఎ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ మ్యానర్ సో దట్ మీన్స్ అవర్ వన్ కంప్యూటర్ ఇట్ ఇట్ నీడ్ టు సర్వ్ బోత్ పర్పసెస్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ ఇట్ నీడ్ టు యాక్ట్ యాజ్ అప్లికేషన్ లోడ్ బ్యాలెన్సర్ అండ్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ ఇట్ నీడ్ టు యాక్ట్ లైక్ ఎ నెట్వర్క్ లోడ్ బ్యాలెన్సర్ ఇంకా సింపుల్గా ఇఫ్ ఐ టెల్ యూ వన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ కెన్ టేక్ వన్ కార్ సింపుల్గా ఇఫ్ యూ బయింగ్ ఎ కార్ ఒక ఒక కార్ని ఒక లోడ్ బ్యాలెన్సర్ అనుకోండి సో ఇప్పుడు కార్కి వీ హ్యావ్ నవ డేస్ ఇప్పుడు వీఆర్ గెటింగ్ కార్స్ ఇప్పుడు ఏంటి అంటే వీ కెన్ షిఫ్ట్ ద మోడ్ వీ కెన్ షిఫ్ట్ ద మోడ్ టు స్పోర్ట్స్ మోడ్ స్పోర్ట్స్ మోడ్కి వెళ్ళానుకోండి వీ కెన్ డ్రైవ్ ద కార్ ఇన్ వెరీ స్పోర్ట్స్ స్పోర్ట్స్లో కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ అంతా మారిపోతుంది దట్ మీన్స్ యూ ద కార్ యూ ఆర్ డ్రైవింగ్ యూ విల్ ట్రై టు గివ్ యూ మోర్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ పవర్ రైట్ సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇప్పుడు అదే కార్ని మనం నార్మల్గా సిటీ మోడ్ ఆర్ ట్రాఫిక్ మోడ్ అని పెట్టుకున్నాం అనుకోండి సో ద మో ద కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ విల్ వర్క్ మోర్ టువర్డ్స్ ఎకనామీ అనమాట నార్మల్గా ఎకనామికల్గా వెళ్ళి ఈ నీడ్ టు ఇట్ నీడ్ టు మోర్ ఫోకస్ ఆన్ మైలేజ్ అండ్ ఆల్ వేర్ ఆస్ ఇన్ నెట్వర్క్ ద ద థింగ్ ఈజ్ మోర్ అబౌట్ పవర్ సో ఇప్పుడు ఏంటి అంటే ఇయర్ వాట్ వీఆర్ డూయింగ్ వీఆర్ షిఫ్టింగ్ దిస్ థింగ్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద నీడ్ రైట్ సో మనం ఏ నీడ్లో ఉన్నాము ఆ నీడ్ని తగ్గట్టుగా మనం సెట్టింగ్ చేసుకుంటాం సో సిమిలర్గా క్లాసిక్ విల్ డూ ద సేమ్ సో ద సే ద సేమ్ థింగ్ యూ కెన్ యూజ్ ఫర్ అప్లికేషన్ అండ్ ప్లస్ నెట్వర్క్ సో బ్యాలెన్స్డ్గా యూజ్ చేయాలి అంటే దెన్ విల్ గో ఫర్ క్లాసిక్ లోడ్ బ్యాలెన్స్ జస్ట్ యూ కెన్ టేక్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ కార్ ఇట్ విల్ హ్యావ్ మల్టిపుల్ మోడ్ సెట్టింగ్స్ రైట్ సో ఏది కావాలో వీ కెన్ చూస్ ఆర్ ఎల్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు గో ఫర్ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ యూ కెన్ గో ఫర్ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ సెట్టింగ్ అలా అనమాట ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈజ్ రిగార్డింగ్ దిస్ అండ్ కొంచెం ఐ థింక్ యూ కెన్ ఆల్సో సీ సమ్ వీడియోస్ సచ్ దట్ యూ కెన్ గెట్ మోర్ అబౌట్ దిస్ రైట్ so this is about this load balancer and uh, coming back i think uh, we have left one uh, topic yesterday so we'll complete that evarena complete chesara normal ga idi manam fail ayam kada instance ni revert cheyadaniki evarkena vachinda normal ga anybody were able to uh, get their instance back delete chesin tarvata వచ్చిందమ్మా వంశీ వచ్చిందా నీకు సరే ఇప్పుడు అది చిన్న ఒకటి స్కిప్ చేసాం అందుకే రాలేదు మనకి సో దాట్ విల్ కంప్లీట్ సో కన్సోల్ to ec2 so what i have done i went to this snapshot section so snapshot lo nenu em chesanu i think over only okay already the backup has been taken so మనం నేను అమెజాన్ లినక్స్ డిలీట్ చేసాం ఆర్ ఎల్స్ విల్ ట్రై విత్ వన్ మోర్ సర్వర్ వాట్స్ దర్ ఓకే సో నవ్ ఐ విల్ ట్రై టు క్రియేట్ స్నాప్షాట్ అంటే బ్యాకప్ ఆఫ్ మై ఇన్స్టెన్స్ ఓకే సో క్రియేట్ స్నాప్షాట్ సో హియర్ ఐ విల్ ట్రై రిసోర్స్ టైప్ యాజ్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ ఓకే సో ఐ వాంట్ టు బ్యాకప్ మై టోటల్ సర్వర్ సో ఐ విల్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ అండ్ హియర్ ఐ విల్ సెలెక్ట్ so today i think uh, we'll try with this ubuntu server okay so what i am doing i am creating a snapshot i'm selecting my ubuntu server okay so scroll down so here i'll say uh, ubuntu backup server okay so 
so then after this i'll say create snapshot okay so for my uh, understanding purpose i'll change it as ubuntu uh, server backup okay so now i have taken one backup of my ubuntu server okay so which server you might ask so as you can see this server the backup i have taken right now what i need to do the thing is for example i have lost this server sometime or i want to restore the restore my server back okay so how to restore that from my snapshot okay so as you can see the snapshot has already been taken now i need to what the thing is you need what you need to remember is snapshot we are doing both now snapshot uh, one type is volume so we can retrieve volume and second one is uh, instance okay so volume instance how we are doing so simply uh, okay malli adanta malli chese it will take time so we know how to uh, how to restore volume okay so first one inst is, uh, instance cheyali ante first thing is create a snapshot right so create snapshot we have already taken second one is create image okay so image create cheyal anamata ee snapshot the image create chestane it will be able to restore so second one will create one image so how to do that image is this is my snapshot section so this uh, server i want to restore so select the server and uh, click on this action you can see an option called create image from snapshot okay so click on that so what it will do it will create an image for your server okay click on create image from snapshot okay so i'll tell the name so i'll say uh, ubuntu image restore restore that. okay <coughs> so it will ask what is the architecture you want to follow 8664 and what will be the default name so these are all default settings okay you can just leave it as default and uh, what are all the available so as it is an 8gb one it is 8gb one if you want to change anything you can change okay but not required i want the same server which i have lost back okay same server kavali so the thing is then i'll click click on create image okay so create snapshot done and now i have created image to restore to restore create image so create image done so you might ask sir where this image will go so this will come under this ami section okay in the left side you will be finding one option called amis so click on this ami so as you can see this is my image okay so image i have created right so now what you can do is now using this image you can restore so using image restore instance okay so in dela chestaro now we'll see okay using image restore the instance so i'll select my image images as i told it will be available in this uh, in this images section and ami means amazon machine images okay so amazon machine images lo it will be there so select and you can see here you can see one option enabled launch instance from ami okay so click on this so this will uh, start the process for creating the instance okay okay so now you can uh, get out sir uh, again uh, what is this is he is asking us to launch the instance so the thing is what happens here is 
all the information has been stored in one place right so that we are calling it as image all the information is stored in one place that, and we called it as image so now that image need to run on some server or some machine so that machine configuration we are doing here okay so Im uh, that image we are taking and now uh, this is the na uh, name for our restored server i'll say restored restored ubuntu server okay here what you can see see here you don't have option for selecting your operating system why because in the catalog uh, in the image which we have created with these settings the image has been stored right so ours was uh, ubuntu operating system previously so ubuntu operating system by default it got selected the option is the only option we get is to change the instance type that means if you want to uh, uh, change your configuration that means we are using this free tier na so this here you will be getting an option like changing your configuration to to your restored server but i want to here i want to continue with the same uh, system configuration i am not changing okay so you can just remember that when you are restoring your uh, server you can change the configuration right when you are restoring your server you can change the configuration so here i am not changing so again uh, what i'll do i'll just uh, use my existing key pair so i'll use uh, okay ubuntu key okay so i'll say, or else i'll create a new one why to get headache okay so i'll say restored ubuntu key pair So here I'll select because it is uh, Ubuntu. I'll just keep it as PPK file. Okay, click on keep it. Okay, it has downloaded that uh, PPK file for me. Then uh, I'll create one uh, new security group. Scroll down, 8 GB and save. Okay, so my uh, uh, backup image will be installed on this server. Okay. So if I click on launch instance, so all uh, all the lost data or your backup data will be installed on this server. Okay, right. So it is saying that okay uh, success. So we can just go to your instance. It is then getting restored. Okay, when I uh, stop, uh, when I check, as you can see, this is the original copy, right? This is the original copy, original Ubuntu server. So what I have done, I have uh, created one uh, backup. So backup how we have created is I have created one snapshot. Okay. So I clicked on snapshot. So here I took uh, a copy of our my complete instance. That means that the complete uh, server I wanted to backup. So I took instance uh, and I selected my instance which I want to backup so here i selected ubuntu 21 so i have completely backed up my total server okay so after uh, creating one snapshot i got it here okay so this is the snapshot of my server so so the thing is if you want to restore your server so for restoring your server what i have done first I have created one image okay so here you can see go to actions and click on create image first from snapshot so here i have created one image okay without the image we won't be able to restore so remember that uh, when you're uh, uh, create uh, create uh, want to restore a volume 
volume can be restored directly whereas this uh, server cannot be restored directly so to restore your server first you need to make an image after taking the image you need to restore so because i am uh, restoring my server uh, i am just restoring the image and have uh, created one image okay so where that image will be it will be available in your ami section okay as you can see in this amazon uh, machine images i have created the image of my snapshot okay so created this is the image now if i want to restore uh, if i want to take your uh, take your instance back just to select and click on launch instance okay so this launch instance will create a fresh copy of your old server okay so here we are making a copy of your old server so here you can give name and uh, as you know all if uh, we have already uh, done this for an uh, ubuntu operating system so it is selecting ubuntu operating system and all the uh, settings which uh, with the previous settings we will get it so this is all previous settings of my old server so i got so one more important thing is we can able to change the configuration of our server okay so the best part about this uh, restoring is you can update your configuration okay and uh, i think one more question for you is, for you guys is uh, just to find out uh, what you need to find out is for example i i'll be asking this question tomorrow okay for example this uh, my windows server is there okay so windows server is working so what is the configuration of this reservation hpm one sec so it is working on elastic ip ip address security details key pair legacy enabled <laughs> networking Networking. okay guys the question is uh, for example uh, you have created one server okay with p2 dot micro configuration okay so the under uh, we have we are always creating one server with t2 micro dot micro configuration na so after some days after creating the server maybe uh, just assume one uh, scenario i have i'm i've been using this server from uh, almost uh, one month okay now after one month i want to change the configuration i that means i want to increase you know how to increase this uh, disk you want to you can increase right you have learned that so you can attach volume or uh, detach volume you can increase the size of the volume that you have done right so now i want to change now i want to change processor memory so how to do that okay so just find out and tell me tomorrow okay so t2 dot my micro configuration i am getting uh, uh, i think uh, one cpu and uh, one gb of ram right so now i want four cpus with 8 gb of ram ardhamaina kada question guys question ardhamaina so this is the question so first you have created server with one cpu and one gb of ram now i want to change to four cpus and 8 gb of ram so how will you change the configuration is my question okay don't uh, uh, please don't tell out uh, about this uh, disk storage okay volume storage cheppakandi volume we already learnt that now i want to change cpu and ram ad ela chestaro na great cheppandi okay so coming back 
so this is how we'll be restoring our instance so we'll be uh, uh, going to our catalog and uh, we'll be cl clicking on launch instance so here you can give the new name for your uh, uh, copy of uh, server here all the things will be selected by default so these are all the previous settings of our old server okay so then you can if you click on this launch instance your copy of old server will be done so you can just check up you can go back and you can just see ubuntu april 2021 this is my old server and this is my restored server okay so this is just a copy of our old server okay so in the same way you can just uh, back up your server every, maybe uh, depends on organization some people will do this uh, backup uh, in a weekly manner or some people will do every day or some people will do hourly basis also okay so here we understood how to create a, a snapshot and how to restore our server okay so that we have discussed and uh, that you can practice so this is the restored server what you can do is you can just connect click on connect so easy to console here also we can connect directly so this is the copy of our old server okay so so this is how we will be doing we'll do one thing i'll just uh, we'll take some uh, break for 10 minutes and uh, after coming actually uh, this i think uh, we have done uh, uh, so much with this uh, instances we'll start learning new services okay so we'll start with the new services so we'll start light sail today okay light sail is one of the new uh, service important service which is provided by amazon okay so we'll discuss about this light sail service today okay so we'll take some break i think after the maybe at 9 20 sorry 9 25 we'll resume the class okay shall we continue or uh, we'll discuss the same in tomorrow's class continue sir continue sir. okay sir so we'll uh, uh, meet at 9.25, okay? So that professional will be doing this task for you. So I think we are not sharing my screen. One second. So that professional will be doing this task for you. But as you know, uh, the startups will have very, very uh, minimal uh, budget, right? So what happens is Amazon, what it is doing is they are providing us some premium features. Okay. So there will be people who doesn't have all this knowledge, but they want to do it, right? So what, what they're telling is instead of having this all the knowledge we will uh, give you some premium services where you need not learn everything from scratch okay so all the things will be handled by this thing for example i can simply tell uh, if you are using this gmail okay so in gmail it is very easy to understand things and they are very easy to execute that such that any uh, common person can also able to catch it so here uh, uh, Amazon also done the same thing. They have done a UI interface for everything. So, uh, simply we can say that so with, uh, within a uh, few clicks, I can be able to host a website. That will make you happy or not. Instead of doing all the groundwork, learning everything. So, right? so it will, uh, this light cell is a service which is made to learn, uh, uh, which is uh, created to make your things simple. Okay so any person without any prior knowledge on uh, hardware or prior knowledge on software without any knowledge the person can directly uh, use this aws and he can start working okay so you need not learn ubuntu you need not learn commands uh, apache server nothing so for this kind of people who want to start very fast 
so without learning all this you want to directly use the service so for that purpose amazon has launched this service to make your work easy without uh, learning all the basics from scratch you can directly able to put your website in a very very simple steps okay so for that people they have created this okay so here you can understand this first you have to create an instance you need to launch the instance you need to worry about the storage we have to worry about this iam we have to create security groups and we have to create and manage keys right so this is all the steps which we need to follow for creating uh, for hosting our website so if i say you just forget about all this under the hood like forget about launching forget about storage forget about iam forget about uh, security groups forget about keys simply create instance will uh, give you one place where uh, you will be getting on server directly okay so th that is what this light service uh, light sale is all about forget about everything forget about everything just you you ask light cell to give an instance it will give you an instance directly no more details will be asked such that any non it person or from any other background will be able to understand the concept okay so that means all the technical part which is required will be handled by amazon itself so you need never worry about all these things amazon will uh, will be handling all the services for you just you can go click create instance and it will readily give you instances okay this is for the professionals okay so if you are not a professional if you want to go use this directly so this is the thing you can do right so what uh, amazon light cell is doing so bundled compute storage and networking as we have discussed compute so it is giving providing you instances compute interstep in instances it is giving you storage it will give you networking networking like auto scaling networking like load balancer right like that okay fully configured server that means you never worry about the configuration of the server even if it is less if uh, for example the last time we are discussing we are going for t2 dot micro we are thinking that it will have very very limited configuration so if you need more configuration how to upgrade so this all headaches will not be there simply Uh, amazon will handle all the configuration part for you and very importantly it is low predictable price as i already told you this uh, light cell is one premium service right so premium service you might be thinking that it might be very very costly but what happens here is the best thing about is this thing is it it has fixed pricing and you can predict the price so simply as you can uh, simply according to the usage you can take so in the next slide uh, i'll uh, i'll share you what will be the prices okay so intuitive global light cell cancel so that means intuitive means very very easy to understand and uh, globally the same uh, light light cell console for the execution that means simple gui simple steps we can say okay easy growth plan okay so easy growth plan means uh, for example if you are uh, working on one small server so immediately uh, after some days you want to shift to a bigger one so shifting from uh, this uh, uh, lower configuration to higher configuration so that won't be that much uh, tough so it happens in very very simple steps and access to aws services so this uh, whatever light cell services are there you can interlink with any other services for example if you are using this light cell if you are having one uh, uh, ec2 running so what you can do you can even connect the ec2 server to this light cell similarly if you are having some volume or if if you having some storage you can add the storage to light cell okay so that means intercommunication between the services so as you know amazon is providing you so many services so any any other uh, another other aws services can be combined with our aw uh, combined with our light cell okay tailored api and client so using command line also you can able to do this so you might be asking uh, what do light cell plans include so i'm talking about light cell light cell right 
so they are what they will be giving so they will be giving you cpus uh, ssd storage networking dns management also and uh, one static ip address or and access to aws services okay so once you see this you will understand everything okay so predictable pricing so this should make you a clear picture of everything so what the person is telling fixed month first month will be free so even uh, if you are uh, taking this uh, free tire also to some extent they are giving it for free okay so after that they will be starting charging you this uh, light share service is available for free tire also okay remember that light cell is also available for free tire but only for few hours okay so as you can see uh, you will be buying a server for fixed price okay so this this is a fixed price so for example if you are uh, spending 5 dollars for example 80 rupees you take 5 uh, 5 into 8 5 is a 40 400 rupees you are spending per month okay if you are spending 400 rupees per month they are providing you 5 12 mb of ram 1 cpu 20 gb ssd and 1 tb data storage okay so the person is for example here you need not have anything about technical knowledge about anything just you worry about how much you can afford for example i came from non it background my budget is 1000 rupees per month okay simply i will open this light sale service and i will opt for this plan simply so i should not have any knowledge on operating system i know any knowledge on uh, networking any knowledge on uh, key pair any knowledge of software just i want to buy a server i will just pay amazon 10 dollars and i will get okay so here you will be buying and uh, your virtual server will be uh, available in all regions this simply that your your uh, server which you are creating it will be available on multiple regions okay and uh, you can uh, use it globally so main thing is this how you will be managing your server so simply uh, here i told amazon will give you server but uh, what happens we need to work with server right so we need to do some activities with server so as you know not everybody is uh, familiar with the uh, command prompt not everybody is uh, familiar with uh, uh, putty where not everyone will be familiar with uh, win scp software right so simply what happens is the console will change totally so they will give you one separate uh, uh, ui so here you can see console matrices networking snapshot history and delete that means very very easy to understand interface okay so the interface will be very very simple that means a finished product for example our whatsapp is there so whatsapp is used for communication purposes right so any newcomer who who, who install this whatsapp sir, uh, whatsapp uh, application he will be, he will be he can able to learn it by himself there is no specific training or nothing is required in the same way light cell is also same like that so they are providing you one uh, 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 platform where you can handle your server by yourself there is no specific uh, uh, training is required so so that uh, once that will will be getting very clear picture when we start working on light light uh, light cell okay so now they are telling that it is uh, this is one old uh, uh, ppt okay so you might be asking sir uh, when you might when you will be needing a light cell okay so what can what can you do with light cell so the thing is we can't do everything with uh, light cell we have only some certain things some simple tasks for example if you want to host a simple website okay so that case you can use simply you want to store something so storage purpose you can use a simple database for that purpose you can use for example if uh, you can take uh, any company website okay a company website will have hardly uh, four to five pages and one uh, small database it will be having so it doesn't need huge amounts of uh, server huge amounts of load and all so that cases we can use so any simple calculations purposes or simple tasks 
or if you are a non it or if you are not having any knowledge on this uh, servers and all that time you will be going for light sail for example now if you want if you are having a running a bigger website for example you are running flipkart website so flipkart needs so much of maintenance so much of uh, handling and uh, so much of uh, so many different types of uh, databases so many programming languages so many people will be working around it and so many servers are involved in that case you will be going for ec2 that means complex uh, uh, websites will be will be using the ec2 that means most of the business applications instagram or facebook or any any other bigger website or job portals so that cases you will go for ec2 if you are having very very simple task for example there is one organization for organization just they want to show some information on internet just a small basic website so you can just go to this light sail and you can just host your website so uh, instead of uh, if you are going to this ec2 you need to buy a server you need to buy a operating system you need to configure hard disk you need to there are so many bigger things which are involved not everybody will be interested into this right as a startup they have very limited time if you want to finish off your project in a very short period then go for light sail okay so what you can do you can use for websites you can use for web apps for testing environment or line of business software that means these are all very very simple uh, things which you can do similarly uh, when when you when to use this ec2 is large multi tier applications if you want to that means pro level or expert level uh, uh, level things you want to do then you need to go for ec2 here what happens is we need to manage everything we need to manage our storage we need to manage our operating system we need to store uh, handle our ip address we need to handle our public ip we need to handle our uh, dns everything will be handled by a professional and also that we uh, all the headache will be taken by us whereas in light cell it is very very simple even if you don't have any knowledge on server no knowledge on operating system no knowledge on storage no knowledge on uh, uh, dns no knowledge on ip address still you will be able to use amazon lights so this ec2 is expert level which we we have worked so we'll we'll see in a detail how exactly uh, this uh, light sale is easy okay so simply uh, what you can do is uh, you can just go to your console okay so this is my console i'll go to the home page right so simply what you can do is you can just search for light say why i am uh, teaching this is uh, the previously what we have done you have created instance and you have hosted your website right so uh, uh, that all in a, uh, uh, that all we have done and same way if you are doing the hosting your website in a premium service how the experience will be okay that will be learning through this so just to click on light sale okay so let's get started okay it is asking me to create instance immediately <coughs> so what you can do with this light sale as you can see the interface is very very simple okay that means you can uh, even uh, any school children or uh, any uh, uh, just uh, small knowledge on computers can start using this light cell very easily as you can see the interface itself is very very easy for you right so simply if you click on instance it will create an instance for you this containers we haven't learned i will teach further so if you want to create a database just simply create database networking simply how we want to do this distribution will be working on this uh, static ip distribution and load balancer 
so whereas in load balancer creating the in our instance is very very typical so here creating a load balancer will be hardly in two or three steps similarly if you want to storage so if you want a bucket storage you can create simply create bucket if you are using disk that means our volume so you can create volume so domain and dns so even if you can purchase one dns here that means you can purchase one domain as you can see here the register a domain you can also buy a domain through this okay snapshot that means uh, we have learned about backup and all right so the only difference is we can say that uh, this is for the people who want to use aws for short time uh, purposes and uh, for those people who doesn't have any technical knowledge okay for those people this is very well suitable and uh, whereas if you want to do some uh, expert uh, exercises then you need to go for the manual services okay so as you can see just if i say instance if it's just simply if i say instance here you can see there are so many configurations which you need to handle right again if you open this there will be multiple right so everything will not be uh, understood by an entry level person or the person uh, who is coming from a startup he doesn't have so much time and expertise to understand everything right so to understand i think from almost like uh, two two and a half weeks we are working on this ec2 so after working even though after working so many so many days still there are lot of confusions and still there are to, so many topics which we haven't explored right so because this is a pro level the more at least at least 6 months 1 year or 2 years then you'll get familiar with this concepts right so if you are a person who want to start working on aws immediately okay you don't have any short any time or that means at least in 1 to 2 days you need to host your uh, uh, website or create your database so for the for those type of people this is recommended okay for entry people or the people who want who don't want all the expertise who doesn't want to go deeper into the subject just i want to complete my task you come today you learn the task and after two or three days you'll be able to manage so that this is like a premium experience okay so not everything you need to manage so most of the things will be managed by amazon only okay so very very important thing is uh, the thing is because it is one uh, premium service the cost will be little high because they have uh, built uh, so much technology for you so that is the reason it will be little high so i think tomorrow we'll explore each and individually and we'll try to work on uh, multiple concepts such that you'll get familiar okay this is uh, suitable for people only who want to just experiment on uh, this uh, aws and it is not suitable for people who are who want to learn the subject in deep okay this is like totally the expert level okay so this is for the people who just want to learn aws very fast and uh, who doesn't have uh, want to learn about infrastructure what is happening in the background how to manage uh, this everything so that all the person won't be concentrated simply you what is the service you want so if you want to create instance you'll create instance that's it okay so the people here won't have much deeper uh, technical knowledge whereas the people who manage here will have more technical knowledge and they can handle multiple problems okay so here everything will be managed by amazon only So here everything will be transparent while creating only it will tell you the prices just so you can uh, uh, that we can uh, learn through practical I think once if we start uh, this practical part it will take more time okay so tomorrow we'll do the practice part also we'll try to create servers in uh, light cell and we try to create databases and if possible uh, we'll also work on the load balancers also tomorrow okay. So this is also one one of the interesting things in uh, light cell. Most of the people uh, 
they won't discuss this outside because this is premium service everybody wanted to go through this expert level pro level so that is why they ignore this so they'll face so many problems so here most of the simple tasks can be done very very in a very easy manner okay so tomorrow uh, tomorrow i think uh, we'll do this in a practical part and uh, if you are having some time also you can just uh, try this explore some okay that will be uh, making your uh, tomorrow's class much easier okay okay that is uh, that is it for uh, today's class and uh, if you are having any doubts you can just ask me or else we'll uh, meet in tomorrow's class sir uh, light cell cloud watch i am undava sir inga dantlo expert level uh, features anni undavu okay just entante evaraina kotta ga untaru kada valaki emi teliyadu so thondara ga work complete ayipovali so knowledge unna leni vallandaru idi use chestuntaru anamata so basics basic easy ga website host cheyadam databases create chesukodam anta varaku untayi so meer cloud watch an annaru kada ivanni entante automation features so alanti vaithe indulo undadu okay